So after the hadith of Ibrahim ibn Hashim, when the man that they saw finished his supplication, Ibrahim ibn Hashim alay, asked the man, which maqam, which holy site were you just at right now? He said, the holy site of Prophet Salih السلام, or as is known, the holy site of the messengers, the prophets, and the pure souls, the awliya and salihin. Now here we are in a different place in the mosque, in a different corner in the mosque, at the maqam of my master Al-Khudr, peace be upon him. Al-Khudr, we spoke about him. We were in Masjid Al-Kufa. We said Al-Khudr, as per the traditions of the holy household, peace be upon them, as per Imam Al-Baqir, peace be upon him. Imam Al-Baqir says that Khudr was a pious slave of Allah. And the name Al-Khudr was given to him because anything that he would stand on from dry woods or gray grass or dead grass, he would give life. He would make it green again. Hence, he was given his name Khudr. And we said that Al-Khudr is still amongst us today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept him alive till today. And here as well, just like he came to Masjid Al-Kufa, Al-Khudr, peace be upon him, knows of the status of this mosque so he came as well to this mosque and he prayed and the narrations tell us as we saw before the narration stated that al-khudr in this mosque is the place where he resides it's in this mosque where if he comes on a trip on his camel he places his camel here and then he resides here and then he leaves when he has to leave now the third report the hadith of Ibrahim ibn Hashim is complete now. And we will narrate to you the third report. The third report is narrated in the Bihar of al Allama al-Majlisi Allah ta'ala alayhi and Qasas al-Anbiya. He narrates it with his isnad, with his chain of transmission on the authority of Aba Basir. Aba Basir said, he said, my master, Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, said, he said, Ya Aba Muhammad, Ya Aba Muhammad is the kunya, the nickname that Aba Basir was given. And this is known if you go read the books of Rijal, the books of the history and the bibliography of the narrators of hadith, you will find that this name Aba Muhammad is mentioned. When Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, wants to speak to Aba Basir, he talks to him and says, Ya Aba Muhammad or Ya Aba Basir. He says, this, this narration is very beautiful and it will put a tear in your eye. He says, Ya Aba Muhammad, O Father of Muhammad, it is as if I see the Qa'im, the master of our time, descend in Al-Sahla Mosque and take the mosque as a home with his family. He says, listen, listen, my Shia, please listen. He says, I see, it is as if I see that the Qa'im of Al-Muhammad Ajrullah Ta'ala Farajr al-Sharif will take this mosque as his place of residence with his family. Here, my master, Ruhilah al-Fida, will take this mosque as his residence. Now listen, he says, Aba Muhammad then, Aba Basir responds, and he says, Ya ibn Rasulullah, O son of the Messenger of Allah. He said it in exclamation. He said, it will be his residence. The Imam said, Bala, yes, it will be so. Then the Imam begins to narrate fada'il and merits of this holy masjid, Masjid al-Sahla. He says, this mosque was the residence of Prophet Idris, peace be upon him. He says, and Allah has not sent a prophet except that he prayed in this mosque. Because the maqam down there, the maqam of the anbiya, the mursaleen and awliya, the prophets, the messengers and the pure souls and the successors, here, here in this mosque, they all prayed from the nas, from the contextual stamp here placed by Abi Abdullah, Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent a pure prophet except that he prayed in this holy mosque. He says, listen, listen, the one who dwells or resides and stays in this mosque is like the one who resides in the canopy, 
in the tent of the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad peace be upon him and his holy family. He says, listen, listen my dear viewers, please listen to this. These are words of your Imam. These are the words of Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn Sadiq, peace be upon him. The Imam says, and I know you also feel this in your heart. You have a feeling somewhere in your heart. He says, there is no believing man nor believing woman except that his heart desires to be in this mosque. And there is no night or day that passes except that the angels come to this mosque. And by Allah, O Father of Muhammad, Ya Aba Muhammad, if I was in close vicinity as you are in this mosque, O Aba Basir, I would not pray a single faridha. I would not pray a single prayer, be it recommended or be it wajib, except that I pray it here in this holy mosque. And when the master of our time, my master, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadhar, may Allah hasten his reappearance, when he comes, he says he will rise and take vengeance for all of us. His messenger, for Allah and for us, the Ahl al-Bayt. This is the second, this is sorry, the third report. The third report narrating you to the full of Adail and the merits of this holy mosque. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant every believing man and woman that yearns to be in this mosque, to come to this mosque and to pray in this mosque and to do all the religious duties of this mosque. You see, every maqam has a religious duty to do. Every maqam you pray two units of prayer, two ruk'ah of prayer, and you, and you recite the dua ascribed to the maqam, to the holy site. Here we stand at the maqam of Prophet Khudr salam, where he was seen in this mosque, where he still comes to this mosque, and the Prophet or the holy pious man Al-Khudr, because there is difference of opinion on whether he was a prophet or whether he was a pious man. We'll say Al-Khudr right now in this mosque witnesses me and he sees me right now and I send my salam, I say Assalamu Alaika Ya Khudr, Assalamu Alaika Peace be upon you, O pious man, O pious slave of Allah, O Khudr, peace be upon you. Henceforth, I ask my master, the pious man Al-Khudr that you can hear me right now and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by your right, O Khudr, Accept my ziyarah, accept my supplication, accept my prayer. You will insha'Allah recite the dua that is ascribed to this holy site with me now, my dear viewers. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma in kaati al-dinubi wal khataya qad akhlaqat wajhi indak فلم ترفع لي إليك صوتا ولم تستجب لي دعوة فإني يسألك بك يا الله فإنه ليس مثلك أحد ما توصلوا إليك بمحمد وآله We just visited the holy site of my master, Imam Ali ibn al Hussein al Sajjad, peace be upon him. After finishing by visiting the site of Al Khudr, peace be upon him, here we are now, almost in the middle, in the far end of the mosque, but in the middle. And again, we will continue our journey by narrating a couple more merits, a couple more narrations and reports concerning the fadal of this mosque. So we said, so far we have three reports. Now we will narrate the fourth report. The fourth report is a simple yet beautiful report. It is narrated 
by Imam Sajjad alayhi salam himself. Imam Sajjad alayhi salam says, He who prays two units of prayer in the mosque of Sahla, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will extend his life by two years. Simple as that. Praying sincerely in this mosque, two units of prayer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase one's lifespan by two years. The next tradition, since this one was very short, we will move to their sixth report. Now we narrated before a long report, it was found in Bihar al-Anwar, where the Imam, peace be upon him, gave some merits of the mosque. This is almost the same hadith with almost the same text, but a little bit longer. I will take out the part that we already have narrated. And after that, we will continue the hadith. So after the Imam narrated the fada'il of the mosque, as you heard back in the maqam of Al-Khidr, peace be upon him, Abu Basir asks the Imam a question. He says, all of this merit for this mosque? Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, said, yes, should I give you more? Do you want to hear more? Ya Aba Muhammad, he said, yes, O son of Rasulullah. The Imam alayhi salam says, this part here is new. He says, this mosque is amongst the lands that Allah loves to hear the believer's supplication. O Shia, O believing man and believing woman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to hear your supplication in this mosque. Allah loves to hear the believer's supplication from this mosque. And of course, there is no night and day, which we mentioned. There is no night and day except that the angels descend in this mosque to take blessings and to pray in this mosque. And of course, he also states the same as before. If I was in close vicinity of this mosque, O Abba Basir, I would not leave a single prayer except that I pray it in this mosque. Here, Abu Basir asks the same question. He says, Ya Ja'far ibn Muhammad, will the Qa'im of Al Muhammad reside here forever? Now listen to what the Imam السلام, is going to say. Pay very close attention. He said, yes. Abu Basir tells him, who will come after the Qa'im? Who will come after my master Imam al-Mahdi Ajrullah Ta'ala Farajul Sharif? My master Imam al-Sadiq peace be upon him said he will stay here forever until his time ends, until humanity ends. My believing brothers, my believing sisters, I want you to pay attention. I want you to close your eyes and witness this beautiful dream. And inshallah, we will pray to Allah that this dream comes true, that we are able to see my master, Imam al-Mahdi, walking these corridors with his family. We can come visit him. We can come see him. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray to Allah that we are gifted with the sight that our eyes, that our eyes may witness the sight of the 12th from Al Muhammad, peace be upon them all, and peace be upon the Messenger of Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. My brothers and my sisters, this is four reports now, sorry, five reports now. There are a couple more reports to narrate to you, but inshallah we will go further. We will go further towards the holy grounds, the holy place, wherein my master Imam al-Mahdi and Muntadhar's mihrab is. We will go towards those holy grounds and seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Imam has blessed this mosque with his footsteps. Now inshallah, before we go, we will recite the supplication and we will go visit my master, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadhar. Ajalallah ta'ala faradu al-Sharif. With me now, insha'Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد يا من هو أقرب إلي من حبل الوريد يا فعالا لما يريد صل على محمد وآل محمد وحل بيننا وبين من يؤذينا بحولك وقوتك يا كافيا من كل شيء ولا يكفي منه شيء اكفنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon Muhammad and on Muhammad and be upon the followers of Muhammad wa al Muhammad. These are the words and the beautiful dua that we were taught by our Imam to say. Oh Allah, the one who is close to us in proximately as close to our jugular vein. Oh Allah, by the right of Muhammad wa al Muhammad, grant us our request in this dunya and the hereafter. O oh Allah, by the right of Imam Ali ibn al Hussein al Sajjad, do not let us leave this mosque until you are pleased with us, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not let us leave this mosque, my Imam, until you are pleased with my actions. Increase my knowledge, increase my worship, increase my supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad.